man, I, I gotta say, like, yeah, yeah, that can't be right, you know? Like, I don't know when exactly the live stream starts, but, uh, like, when I hit start broadcasting, like, as soon as I hit start broadcasting, uh, Wow. Dang, that's, that's getting some views. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm going through the garbage to find Spider-Man's things. Hmm. Oh, what, what about this is copyrighted? Oh. Like I say, that is annoying. What about this is copyrighted? Oh, Merry Christmas, baby. Take one. Okay. Fine. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just going through, like, my Spider-Man live streams. And, um... <laughs> I, I'm looking at all, like, the... The, uh... The copyright claims. All right, some of them make sense, you know. Like, uh, what one of them got claimed for having Seabird, the song, you know. That's Spider-Man Two. Ugh. All right. Now, what am I gonna listen to in the background as I'm playing this? I think, if I can find it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, n not gonna lie, uh, I don't know, is, is this, is this kind of awkward? How do I sound? Meh, meh, alright, turn my mic up a little bit, because I think I'm a bit quiet. Oh, that's probably gonna be the loudest thing, but, uh, no, uh, ever since, uh, Quentin, Quentin Reviews, uh, the the youtuber released his uh like final episode of his mini series mini and heavy quotes uh for sam and cat and uh kind of going through like the nickelodeon shared universe with starting with iCarly then going to um victorious and then sam and cat uh i've been uh I, I've just been re-watching uh, his, his videos. I watched, like, the... I, I, how long was it? Was, isn't that, like, nine hours or something? I watched the Sam and Cat one. Then I watched the... I, I went back and watched the I iCarly don't one. I else, but I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't Both, be that uh, hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. All right, Spider-Man. I, I have guess. years of research on that drive. <laughs> Everything I've worked on since high school. He just has to talk like exactly when I don't want him to. But um, yeah, no. Uh, ba -ba. there was um, uh, there was something. I was gonna say. Oh yeah, no, I've I've uh, I've since gone back and watched both of the iCarly episodes, which are like probably eight hours, seven hours in total. And now I'm rewatching slash listening to the Victorious episode. And I say it's pretty good. I don't know it. It, it was kind of funny when I was seeing like random people on TikTok having like discourse about the uh, uh about like oh man w what a long video it, like geez yeah it's nine and a half hours the collapse of sam and cat which like i gotta say is it, it's pretty funny how how he ended up doing it because uh like even before this it, it kind of started with the reign of fred figglehorn which i i haven't gone back and rewatched that but i probably will well once i find the time but like, 
you know, he, he, he starts with the reign of, of Fred Figglehorn, which is three hours and 39 minutes. Then I binged iCarly, four hours and 45 minutes. Then the end of iCarly, three hours and 35 minutes. Then the failure of Victorious, five hours and 34 minutes, uh, basically five hours and 35 minutes. Then um, the end of Victorious, eight hours and five minutes. Then the scandal of Sam and Cat, five hours and seven minutes. The decay of Sam and Cat, six hours and 28 minutes. And then the collapse of Sam and Cat, nine hours and 30 minutes. And I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, it, it was like, it, it's a really good video. Like, I really enjoyed, well, I like both enjoyed and uh, was quite sad for like the uh, kind of last hour and a half when... Uh, he starts talking about Jeanette McCurdy's book, uh, book and kind of how that related to the series and, like, everything going on with them. And it was, like, really sad to hear about, but, you know, also, like, uh, you know, like, s s somewhat of a good thing. Like, somewhat of a nice thing to end on, you know? Like, acknowledging the actual people who were like on the show and were a part of it because you know it, it's fun to talk about silly characters and make fun of the bad writing and all that but at the end of the day like these are real people on the screen with like real lives and they were heavily affected by these tv shows and um i don't know i i think it was just really well done a great video and uh now, now i'm going back and, and i'm watching the other ones but yeah, I don't know. I always find it funny when, like, <laughs> like I I think probably the the uh, the funniest one I saw was some guy who was just like he was just so mad. Like I can't even remember the guy's name. And like the guy isn't anybody. He has like 300 or sorry no he has uh, 800 followers on TikTok. And I I was like kind of stunned because like like he 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 starts off the video by like you know kind of complaining about the length and like he was like watching the video and like um you know considering that this is like the the first video um that you know like quentin has posted in a good long while on his channel he, he kind of gave some updates about his life which you know i think is nice it's a good intro you know you know, it's 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 kind of the parasocial thing with uh, w with a lot of these types of videos, where it's just like, oh yeah, how, how's this guy been doing? Yeah, four months ago he did uh, the t the decay of Salmon Cat, then seven days ago, a week old now, the collapse of Salmon Cat. Well, like, it, it's been a while, and, like, he was talking about having writer's block, and this, like, random guy on TikTok was like, oh, everybody has writer's block. Oh, I don't I don't care. I don't care to hear you complain about having writer's block. And it's like, Jesus, buddy. <laughs> uh, like, project much? <laughs> like, obviously, this guy is, like, ashamed of suffering with writer's block himself, and also, like, you know not being as successful as Quentin reviews and then he like goes on to mention is like you know I have like a screenplay coming out and like I've written like video essays and like oh man I really wish I I like favorited this video because it, it was so fascinating you know just like this like angry sad pathetic dude's perspective <laughs> of like you know it it, it, it it's like it's like, I, I don't know, he's like, you know, you got to be concise. Like, it's not always the mark of something to be, like, concise. Like, sometimes it's nice to have things take a while to let people flounder, let people live and do various things. Because it's not like he spends the whole time talking about Sam and Cat. Like, I, I really like the section of the video where um, I'm, for, I'm forgetting the guy's name. But he has, like, a, a, a another YouTuber who's a friend of his. And, like, uh, I don't know if it was just, like, a video from his channel. Or they just, like, made this video for the Sam and Cat video. But, like, there's, like, an hour-long discussion of, like, a, a certain movie. I'm I'm also forgetting the name of it. This, this tells you how much I absorbed of it. But, like, it, it, it was, like, a movie about a book, 
I don't know. I was playing Persona 5 at the time and kind of listening to it in the background. But um, I, I forgot what exactly the 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 movie is. But but they talked about like a Nickelo a Nickelodeon movie that was based on a book that Quentin had read when he he was in uh, school. And uh, like I, I don't know, it was just like a nice little break of like, oh hey, let's talk about this movie now and. Uh, you know, just like have something completely separate and different than uh, what the kind of whole premise of the video is. And like, I, th I think it's a really like interesting concept. It's really like, uh, it, it's like really funny, you know? Like, like I don't know, I, I like when uh, you, you get towards like the end of, you get towards like the, you get really far into the, uh, the uh, iCarly, uh, video and he's just like nobody's watching this far so I don't have to be funny anymore I, I, I don't have to make good jokes that land you know because n nobody's gonna watch this far and and then you know eventually gets to the end and he's like oh, yeah, hey by the way I just have to ask are you okay because you just watched four hours <laughs> of some guy talking about iCarly is everything good <laughs> like I don't know it's, it's a really funny bit and I, I think it's some really fantastic videos you know like if you don't want to watch them hey that's fine but like i don't know you, you you can't just go like oh this is long you should make things shorter and more concise and it's like that's not the point the the point is actually the complete opposite of that to uh, have it be long to go on different tangents and rambos uh, and rambles and have like different segments that like are completely unrelated to the project at hand but it's still somewhat related you know just like tangentially related and i think it's pretty funny oh, of course it's locked can't have people stealing garbage also like spider-man another way in you're you're spider-man you can just like break that open but i suppose spider-man is not really want to breaking break and entering if i don't break anything right yeah exactly okay, so need to panic <laughs> maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet Maybe, Nada. maybe. Uh, okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot. But sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. No worries. Hope you find your stuff. Should be some trucks cl- Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <coughs> what an interesting smell. Hey, Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. Thanks, Spider-Man. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. Yeah, sure, Spider-Man. You saved my life. I'm not gonna judge you for rifling through trash. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, 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 I just want to imagine, like, like that guy goes to the bugle. It's like, oh yeah, Spider Man saved me after like these gang goons came to beat me up as I was do, as I was delivering the trash, and then he wanted to look for some personal items, which like, I don't know what he meant by that, but I'm just gonna assume he's like a pervert looking for like weird garbage things so you know I i'm not gonna judge him he saved my life but yes spider-man's a weirdo garbage freak <laughs> please be here please be here yes hope it still works phew looks like everything's here hey look an old gadget prototype Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Look, it's that guy who can see Spider-Man. Uh-oh. Ice him! Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, this is pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Um. Anyway, sorry. I, 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 uh, my phone is low on battery, so I do have to go plug that in. Um. Actually, yeah. I'll, I'll go over to the next mission because uh, I think it's, it's a cutscene. It's a very brief cutscene. All right. How am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Uh, hi, MJ. It's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to... Oh, that's too funny. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... I... Okay, this is sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. Also, like, don't get me wrong. I I get that Spider-Man town. I could crash with him. <laughs> I get that Spider-Man is like a little nervous to go crash with MJ, but like, I... sorry, I was turning my mic down. But what? um, someone left me a voicemail. Numbers blocked though. Hey there, Spider. Long time uh -oh. no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. I gotta say, that it, it is, like, amazing to me, like, how many of these people were in the Persona games? 
Like, that right there is Futaba from fucking Persona 5. Like, that's amazing. Because, <laughs> like, I, I, I remember I kept, like, vaguely recognizing Futaba's voice. I was like, I was like, I've heard this. I've heard this, like, somewhat recently. So this gang war between the demons and Fisk is really heating up. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. He got roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. Mm. Okay. I, I don't know why that phone call happened or why it ended. But, um... Yeah. I don't know, I, I just think it would have been a bit funnier if like Spider-Man got to MJ's house and then he was like, no, I actually I can't, I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. And he was like nervous, really nervous and like just kind of ashamed to do that. R rather than him being nice like, oh, she's probably busy with work. There. Like, she's not busy paid with well, work. But Dr. Octavius offered the chance to really make a difference. Attention unit. Hostiles are assaulting an armored car. Need immediate response at Union Square. Getting worse than Fisk ever was. Hold tight, officers. The web swinging cavalry's here. Demons are down. I'll let you take it from here, officers. I go. Bop. Nope. Something happening? Who's trying to kill me? Nobody? Everybody? Why is combat music playing? Well, whatever. Hello, 
Spider. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. The black cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She wants me to find some- There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out.